Hi, this is Tom from the 125 Live Tech Mates team in Rochester, Minnesota. Okay, let's take a look at how to rearrange your menu bar and control center. To do this, open System Preferences by clicking on the icon on the left on your dock that looks like a gear. So I'll open up System Preferences, then click on Dock and Menu Bar. And you'll be presented with a window. On the left side, there'll be a list of control center controls. And these will all be the ones that are always in your control center. Second group is other modules. And you can choose whether to see them in control center or on your menu bar. And finally, menu bar only. Let's take a look at the, a couple of the control center controls first. Wi-Fi, if I click on that, the only option is, do I want to show it in the menu bar as well? So if I click on show in menu bar, now I can see this is what it would look like on my menu bar. It's always going to be in the control center. So unclick it again. Bluetooth, same idea. You have an option to show in the menu bar or not. And if I unclick it, you see it goes away from the, from the menu bar. Another thing I'd like to point out is that whatever your selections are, they're gonna be indicated underneath the, the name of the control. Right now, Control Center is the only place it's gonna be. And that's all it shows. So I click on show in menu bar again, and you'll see that menu bar and control center are both are both listed. So on, I'll unclick that. And then the third one we like to look at is do not disturb. In addition to being able to choose to show it in a men menu bar, you have a couple of sub options. Right now. I have selected when active. What that means is that if do not disturb is currently active, you will see it in the menu bar. Right now you're seeing what it will look like in the menu bar when it appears. But if you look at my, my menu bar, since this is daytime and do not disturb is not currently active, it's not up here. You won't see the icon for it up here anywhere. The other option, is always. If I click on always, bingo, then it'll appear up in the menu bar either way. And right now it's grayed out, which means it's not active. So whatever you prefer, you set it that way. I'm going to turn it off again and there it goes away. Okay, let's take a look at battery and other modules to see how that type works. I'll scroll down till we see other modules. I'll click on battery. And you can see right now I have show in menu bar, show in control center, show percentage. It's up to you. You, you unclick if you don't want to see it. Click if you want to see them. Whatever you like, total control over those. And finally, let's look at menu bar only. First item we'll look at is clock and date options, show the day of the week, show date, digital. I don't think analog looks very meaningful on the top right of the screen there or right here, kind of tiny. I like digital. You can have a 24 hour clock if you like or not. Show AM, PM or not. You can also flash the separators. Some people like it, some don't on or off. And you can also display time with seconds, right down to the seconds or not. And this is something that I think a lot of people find annoying. Annoying, You can announce the time <laughs> on the hour, half hour, quarter hour, and you can also customize the voice if you like. I leave that off. And let's look, next thing is spotlight 
menu bar is on the menu bar currently. And either you're going to see it or not. See it or not. I liked having it there. It's that little like magnifying glass for searching. Siri, either on or off. On or off. I'll leave it on. And finally, time machine for backup. Either you're going to show it or not show it. So that's it.